Hello dear students. Today in this video we are discussing about the module 2 vector integration. In vector integration we have three main topics. The first topic is Green's theorem and the second topic is Stokes theorem and the third main topic is Gauss divergence theorem. In this particular video, we are going to discuss more about Gauss divergence theorem. The Gauss divergence theorem gives the relation between double integrals and triple integrals. That is the relation between the surface integrals and the volume integrals. In Gauss divergence theorem, a solid shape will be given for you. We take that as G and the surface is taken as sigma. And this solid is always having an orientation outward. We apply Gauss divergence theorem when the surface is a closed surface. Gauss divergence theorem states that double integral over the surface sigma f dot n ds is equal to triple integral over the volume g divergence of f dv, where f is a vector field. The small f g and h have continuous first order partial derivatives on some open set containing in G and n cap is the outward unit normal on sigma. One of the applications of Gauss divergence theorem is Gauss loop. The left hand side double integral of sigma f dot n ds gives you the flux of an electric field and the right hand side the triple integral over G Divergence of F dV gives you the amount of charge contained within the volume. Now, to find the outward flux of a vector field, we use the formula double integral over sigma F dot n dS. Now, to find the outward flux, we use Gauss divergence theorem. Instead of finding the double integral F dot n dS, we usually find the triple integral over G divergence of F dV. Let us discuss an example of an application of Gauss divergence theorem. Example 1. Use divergence theorem to find the outward flux of a vector field F is equal to Zk across the sphere x square plus y square plus z square is equal to a square. Here, the given solid G is a sphere x square plus y square plus z square is equal to a square. A sphere of radius a and the surface sigma is outward oriented spherical surface and the vector field f is given as zk now since the surface is a closed curve we can apply gauss divergence theorem to evaluate the flux so the formula the flux across the surface sigma is double integral over sigma f dot and ds is equal to triple integral over the volume g divergence of f dv so first of all you have to find divergence of f that is del dot f the formula of del is i dou by dou x plus j dou by dou y plus k dou by dou z dot z k so when you take the dot product you have to multiply the i component j component and the k component so dou by dou x of i component is zero dou by dou y of j component is zero dou by this dou is set of k component and z is 1. Now substituting divergence of f in the formula 1. So it becomes triple integral over the volume g 1 into dv. Now dv is dx dy dz. Now triple integral over dx dy dz is nothing but the volume of the solid g. And here the solid g is a sphere. So the volume of the sphere of radius a is 4 by 3 pi a cube and that gives you the flux across the surface. Let's see an, another example. Example 2. Use divergence theorem to find the outward flux of the vector field f is equal to 2x plus y square i plus xy j plus xy minus 2 is at k. Across the surface sigma of the tetrahedron x plus y plus z is equal to 2 and the coordinate planes. Before moving to the solution, we have to plot this tetrahedron x plus y plus z is equal to 2. So we make a table 
marking x, y, and z. Put x is equal to 0, y equal to 0, you will get z is equal to 2. Put x is equal to 0, z is equal to 0, you will get y equal to 2. Put y equal to 0, z is equal to 0, you will get x is equal to 2. So we get an order pair as 200, 020, and 002. Mark these order pairs in a three dimension plane as follows. You can see that. Now, the solid given here is x plus y plus z is equal to the plane and bounded by the coordinate planes x is equal to 0, y equal to 0, and z is equal to 0. That is the tetrahedron that we get. And sigma, the surface, is the surface of the tetrahedron x plus y plus z is equal to 2. Now, before doing uh, division theorem, you have to find divergence of f, and that is del dot f. The formula of del i dou by dou x plus j dou by dou y plus k dou by dou z dot f. And f is 2x plus y square i plus xy j plus xy minus 2 z k. Now, when you take the dot product, you have to multiply the i component, j component, and the k component. So, when you multiply the i component, dou by dou x of 2x plus y square plus dou by dou y of xy plus dou by dou z of the k component xy minus 2z. So when you differentiate partially with respect to x, you will get 2. When you differentiate partially with respect to y, xy will become x. And when you differentiate xy minus 2z partially with respect to z, you will get minus 2. 2 and minus 2 will get cancelled. You will get The flux across the surface sigma is given by the formula double integral over sigma f dot n ds. So in order to find this, it is enough to find the triple integral over the volume G, divergence of f dv. Now the divergence of f here we got that as x. So should x and instead of dv, you write dx dy dz. Now we are going to evaluate the triple integral. Now before evaluating the triple integral, we need the variation of z, y, and x. There are two ways to find the limits. The first method is based on the diagram. Here you have to draw the diagram of the tetrahedron. The variation of z is the height from the base z is equal to 0 to the plane z is equal to 2 minus x minus y. That gives you the height and the variation of z. Now to find the variation of x and y, you have to take the projection of the tetrahedron onto the xy plane. From there, you will get y equal to 0 to y equal to 2 minus x, and x varies from 0 to 2. The second method is directly by substitution. Since it is bounded by the coordinate planes x is equal to 0, y equal to 0, and z is equal to 0, the lower limits of the integrals are 0. So in this tetrahedron, x plus y plus z is equal to 0, variation of z is from 0 to 2 minus x minus y. After finding the variation of z, Substitute z is equal to 0 in the equation. You will get x plus y equal to 2. Now here, the variation of y is from 0 to 2 minus x. After finding the variation of y, y equal to 0. We get x is equal to 0. x is equal to 2. So the variation of x is from 0 to 2. After obtaining the limits for z, y and x, substitute in the equation number 1. That is, the triple integral over the volume g x dx dy dz. First, we have to substitute for the variable z. That is integral z is equal to 0 to 2 minus x minus y x dz. Then, for the variable y, that is y equal to 0 to 2 minus x dy. Then, for the variable x equal to 0 to x is equal to 2 dx. Now, the first integral is with respect to z. So x is a constant, integral of dz is z, and z varies from 0 to 2 minus x minus y. Now substitute the upper limit and lower limit, you will get x into 2 minus x minus y. The next integral is with respect to y, so x 2 minus x is a constant. So you can take x as a common factor, now 2 minus x is a constant, so 2 minus x into y minus the integral of y is y squared by 2, where y varies from 0 to 2 minus x. So up to the upper limit and the lower limit, you will get x as a common factor, 2 minus x into 2 minus x 
minus 2 minus x the whole square by 2. Now 2 minus x into 2 minus x is 2 minus x the whole square minus 2 minus x the whole square by 2. You can subtract these two terms. You will get 2 minus x the whole square by 2. Now open the bracket, expand 2 minus x the whole square and multiply x inside. You will get 4x minus 4x square plus x cubed by 2. Now we are going to integrate with respect to x. We will get x square minus 2x cubed by 3 plus x raised to 4 by 8 where x varies from 0 to 2. Now substitute the upper limit. Simplify that. You will get 2 by 3. Now one more example. Example number 3. Use divergence theorem to evaluate the double integral over s f dot and ds. Where f is the vector field x cube i plus y cube j plus z cube k. Where sigma is the surface of the cylindrical solid bounded by x square plus y square is equal to 4 and the planes z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 4. Here the solid g is a cylinder cut off by the planes z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 4. The surface is the surface of the cylinder bounded by the planes. Now while you consider the surface there are three surfaces curved surface, top surface and the bottom surface. The curved surface and top is a circle and bottom is also a circle. If we have to evaluate double integral or s f dot and ds directly we have to evaluate along the surface s1 that is the top surface of the cylinder s2 the curved surface and s3 the bottom surface of the cylinder and that is a long process. Instead of taking the surface integral, we apply Gauss divergence theorem and hence evaluate triple integral over the volume G divergence of F B. First, we define divergence of F that is del dot F. Formula of del is I dou by dou x plus J dou by dou y plus K dou by dou z dot F. And F is x cube I plus y cube J plus z cube K. Now, in the dot product, you have to multiply the i components. So, dou by dou x of x cube plus dou by dou y of y cube plus dou by dou z of z. Now, differentiating with respect to x, you will get 3x square. Differentiating partially with respect to y, you will get 3y square. And differentiating partially with respect to z, you see 3 z square. Now, 3 is a common factor. You can take 3 common factor, you will get 3 into x square plus y square plus z square and that is our divergence of f. Now substitute for double integral over s f dot and ds as triple integral over the volume g divergence of f b. So triple integral over the volume g divergence of f is 3 into x square plus y square plus z square d. Since the solid is a cylinder, we convert it to cylindrical coordinates. The variation of z is the height of the cylinder. z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 4. To get the variation of x and y, we have to take the projection of the cylinder onto the xy plane. And it is a circle x square plus y square is equal to 2 square with center at 0, 0 and radius 2. Now since it is a circle, we can convert back to polar coordinates. By substituting x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta, and x square plus y square is r square. And dx dy is taken as r dr d theta. Now, as we convert to polar coordinates, the figure is given on the right hand side. A circle of radius 2. We take a sector starting from the origin towards the radius r. So r varies from 0 to 2. Now, since it is a full circle, the angle of rotation theta is from 0 to 2 pi, the full rotation. Now we have got the limits for z, r and theta. Now we can evaluate the triple integral over the solid G, divergence of f, d. Now triple integral over G, divergence of f, we know that it is 3 into x square plus y square plus z square and dv is taken as dz dy dx. Now the variation of z is from 0 to 4. Now we are going to integrate that with respect to z plus. So 3 into x square plus y square can be taken as a constant. Therefore the integral with respect to z is z plus 
integral of z square will become z cube by 3. And the 3 and the 3 will get cancelled. And z varies from 0 to 4. So substitute the upper limit 4 and the lower limit 0. So you will get the answer as 12 into x square plus y square plus 4 cube and that is 64. And replace dy dx with r dr t theta. Now we know that x square plus y square is r square. Substitute x square plus y square is equal to r square. You will get 12 r square plus 64 r dr d theta. Before integrating with respect to r, multiply r inside. You will get 12 r cube plus 64 r. Now integrate with respect to r, you will get 12 r is 4 by 4 plus 64 r square by 2. Where r varies from 0 to 2. Substitute the upper limit and the lower limit and simplify, you will get 176 d theta. Now we have to integrate with respect to theta. 176 is a constant, integral of d theta is theta, varying from 0 to 2 pi. Substitute the upper limit and lower limit, you will get 3 